Hey, good morning, guys. It's Thursday, July 7th, 7.55 a.m. On my way to work as usual. Time for the daily vlog. Um, I got a couple people respond to me with some uh, really good questions as to uh, as for topics on the vlog. Uh, and I'm going to answer two of them today. Uh, the first one I'm going to answer is why do I do the vlog? Um, you know, what do I hope to gain out of it, I guess, and, and, and you know, what is, what is the reasoning behind it? Um, the real reason behind it is I want to solicit uh, communication among the people. One of the things that I've noticed is with the vlog is that people have come together. I've said this before, is that the idea behind this is that, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all that social media is usually just a place for words. Um, someone types something in, someone else types something in. It doesn't really foster in an area where people can grow and meet and learn about each other and interact with each other. Uh, with the vlog, when I put the vlog up, it, people have talked. People have started saying, oh, wow, I didn't know that you did that and I did that. And, oh, my family does something similar to that when we go on vacation. Or, oh, I like the same food you like. Um, so that was one of my ideas behind it, uh, was just to, to get people talking, to get people interacting with each other. The second question um, was about Blue October and how I first learned about them and what the music means to me and things like that. Uh, I'm going to tell this one, this is going to make this video a little bit longer than usual, and also it's going to be very personal because it's going to be about me and my story. Um, because I can't quite tell you about how I came to find out about Blocktober and, and what they mean to me without, you know, telling a little bit about myself. So I'm going to do that. Um, so just bear with me for a little while as I tell you this story. Uh, several years ago, uh, I don't know, maybe more than several, but at this point, quite a few years ago, uh, I was in a relationship with somebody um, that out of nowhere just kind of fell apart before me. I wasn't really paying attention to it, uh, the relationship, and I had a car accident and I was unable to care for myself. And as soon as I was kind of able to care for myself again, um, I, I, the relationship ended without even knowing. I came home from work and there was a note that told me I had to leave. Um, and this kind of really messed with my head. Uh, I had been feeling depressed, I guess, and I was having bad thoughts, I guess you could say, for a while. Uh, that it just kind of went unnoticed or went undiscussed. So uh, the relationship ended. Uh, I was on my own, and I was having a really rough time of it. I felt like I lost everything in my life. Uh, I, I, you know, I, not just the person I was with, but also I felt like I lost a, 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 my daughter, a little girl who I was, I was adopting at the time. Uh, my family wasn't around. Uh, I just, I really felt depressed and lonely. And to compound the situation, I still had issues with the surgery. I had to have more surgeries. Um, to make a long story short, I found myself at the wrong end of a bottle of sleeping pills and bottle of vodka one night, uh, and uh, I died. I had a friend of mine who was at work who came over and he found me. He called 911 and uh, they took me to the hospital. And luckily, they, they brought me back and I spent some time uh, at the hospital. Came back and I got shipped out to my family's home and I spent some time with them. So anyway, one night I was sitting alone, uh, either late or early, depending on how you look at it, probably I'm guessing around 3 or 4 in the morning, and I had the TV on, and I think I was on MTV or VH1 or something like that, and this song came up with this, this emo band singing about hate me, and hate me this, and hate me that, and at first I kind of dismissed it, I mean, I, this song was kind of catchy, because I mean, I, I could relate to the, the hate me, because I was feeling so, like, uh, self-loathing and depressed, um, and back then I used to use, you know, LimeWire and stuff like that to get music. So I ran to my computer and I typed in Hate Me and it came up with this band I'd never heard of called Blue October and I downloaded their song and I thought it was pretty good and so I downloaded it and I liked it and I listened to it. Um, the more I listened to it, the more I liked it, so I downloaded some other stuff that I didn't really like. Um, and 
you know, a couple songs I liked, a couple songs I didn't like, and that was pretty much my relationship with him for a while. Um, then, as I started listening to him more and more, I started liking him more. Fast forward a couple years, I met Regina. Um, thank God for that. <laughs> uh, and with Regina's uh, love, I guess, and help, I kind of I turned things around in my life. I uh, I was actually got I had been diagnosed with uh, BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, uh, as well as bipolar. Uh, at the time, I was doing some DBT therapy and I was uh, in group therapy. As in, I've gone through just about every kind of therapy you can imagine. I've taken pretty much every one of the um, drugs you can talk about um, and everything. And just like everything else in my life, one day I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. I felt like the only way to get better uh, that I had learned through DBT was to basically take responsibility for myself, to, to, to know what was going on in my life, to understand what was going on. Uh, and so I basically quit taking meds against doctor's orders. I know not the best thing. Um, and knock on wood, I've been fairly decent um, since then. Now, all along this time, I'm listening to Blue October. I'm really liking the band. I'm thinking how great they are. Uh, I, I tell Gene about how much I like them. And I, I got her into it, if you will. Uh, and then one year, uh, about I think it's three years ago, I think it was, um, Gene bought me tickets to go see Blue October um, as a birthday present. And that was our first show. And I just went to the show, got in line, saw the band, said that was great, got in and left. Uh, still like the band. Then the next year, um, we decided to go again. First couple, and this time was a little different. We went to a couple shows. Went to the first show, same thing. Went to the show, but uh, left. Second show, got in, got out, left. Third show, uh, when we went to it in Boston, uh, I got the VIP package, uh, which got us in earlier, and we got to meet the band. We got to meet some of you guys out there. I know there are some of you guys were out there. Um, uh, met some of you guys, met the band, took some pictures, had really good seats, had a really good time. Went to the van, uh, to the bus after the show, got some more pictures, uh, met Justin, met the guys. Uh, I, I felt like I, I had a really good uh, meeting there with Justin, like we connected. Um, and that was pretty much it. Uh, that was like last year. And then this year, I don't know, something crazy just happened and uh, it just seems like the whole focus of my music interest and everything just has really changed into Blue October and the groups and being very active and supporting to the band. Um, I know Gina has also uh, really grown in her appreciation and love for the band uh, as well as my kids. Samantha uh, has kind of come around to the point where she you know she was really like in the Jonas Brothers and things like that several years ago and then uh, Lady Gaga and things like that. She, Sammy's really, really a big music lover, uh, but I really think that she's found an appreciation for it. As well as uh, Johnny, my uh, my older son, or Gina's older son. Um, he was into rap and things like that. And, you know, just listening to Blue October with us, he, you know, started listening to it and started appreciating it. And then after we took him to the New York shows, uh, he said to me, he said he, he got it. It, it clicked for him. He said that after all the concerts, all the shows he's ever been to, um, uh, the, the acoustic show that we went to in New York, he said that was uh, by far the best concert he'd ever been to. Um, and you know, and now he's he's hooked on them as well. He loves them as well. Uh, and now we're all uh, very anxiously waiting and excited for the uh, Any Man in America tour. So I know this is very, very long. This is by far the longest one. This is over nine minutes as of right now. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up and because it's going to take forever to process and put up and hopefully you guys will stick with it. I mean, nine minutes is a long time. So let me wrap this up, guys. Uh, as always, I love you guys uh, for all the support and um, uh, goodwill that we get from you. Uh, to Regina, I love you. To Samantha, I miss you. Johnny, I miss you too, man. Um, hopefully... Uh, uh, we will get to beat all you guys out there. Uh, the sun is burnt, is uh, is out and shines. A beautiful day. I hope it is where you are too. Uh, so until uh, my next vlog, guys. Uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.